I am Dr. Venu Priya, Associate Professor from AMS School of Informatics. I would like to welcome you all for today's 21st Foundation Day guest lecture. Thank you so much for your virtual presence here. Uh, you spent a lot of time for us. Thank you so much. Now, I would like to request our director, ma'am, Professor K. Vijay Lakshmi, to give the welcome. <laughs> Uh, a very good morning to all of you, and it is a great pleasure to welcome respected uh, President Srimati Usha Reddy Garu, uh, Vice President Srimati Usha Kanda Garu, General Secretary uh, Lalta Kameshwari Garu, uh, and today's uh, speaker, Ms. Tanuja Aburi Garu, our Chairman, Professor Rajender Garu, Secretary, Sri Vice Satyanarayana Garu, and other GB members, Administrative Committee members, uh, staff, students, and other guests who have joined today. Warm welcome to all of you on this virtual platform on the eve of our 21st Foundation Day lecture. Every year we have been celebrating this Foundation Day in fond memory of Padma Shri Srimati Vanaja Yangar, who was the prime force and founder of this School of Informatics, uh, started with BCA and MCA courses in the year 97, and during her tenure as president of Andhra Mahila Sabha. She was also the founder uh, vice chancellor for Sri Padmavati Mahila Vishwavidalyam, Tirupati. In due course, MBA was introduced here, uh, with an annual intake of 120 girl students in MBA. We have the benefit to build our growth on the strength of Srimati Durga Bhai Deshmukh, founder of DDMS. AMSOI as an institute standing today with 120 MBA students is the outcome of efforts put forth selflessly by all the people, whoever great people behind. And today is such a great day. We are commemorating the efforts put forth by all such people and celebrate this as Foundation Day. That spirit is continued still. There are many in the audience uh, uh, attending virtually uh, who have been associated with this institute and made a tremendous contribution to its development. And they all deserve a special thanks from our side. I appreciate and thank Ms. Santanuja for accepting my invitation to address the students on this special day, uh, this year on the topic, Imagining Possibilities. I believe definitely after listening to her, the students will get inspired and will be able to break all their limitations, what they have set for themselves and will be able to explore the possibilities. I once again welcome all of you to this Foundation Day lecture. Thank you all. Over to Venu Priya. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, my immense pleasure to introduce our president, ma'am, Srimati N. Musharedi Garu. Uh, she is a great philanthropist serves the society by helping the needy people in the areas of education, health, and other social issues. She started voluntary service at a very young age through Lions Club, Jubilee Hills. She joined Andhra Mahila Sabha in 2002 as a member in the administrative committee of DDHA and RC and DDBR BTRs. In 2004, she took charges as a secretary, Gurgabai Deshmukh Vocational Training and Rehabilitation Center for Handicapped to serve the differently able. Since 2004, she has been working with dedication and commitment for a upliftment of the differently able. She donated a lot of funds to different units of Andhra Mahila Sabha. She started Anand Swarup Reddy Foundation in 2007 with the help of her daughters in the memory of her husband, late Sri Anand Swarup Reddy. As a chief person of Anand Swarup Reddy Foundation, she provides a financial assistance to many school and college going students with a low socio-economic background and social, and also to people suffering from different health issues. She constructed a new school building worth of one crore for Gandhi Centenary High School, Andhra Mahila Sabha at Sangha Reddy through Anand Swarup Reddy Foundation. 
we are very fortunate to have her as a president now for andhra mahila sabha she takes up responsibilities with great interest and vision and works sincerely for her commitments yeah thank you ma'am thank you so much welcome ma'am over to visharedi ma'am usha ma'am madam please unmute yourself usharadi madam much much yeah one second yes yeah some technical issue some technical so uh, sorry for the inconvenience some technical issues are there madam unable to unmute that one please wait for few minutes please please for few minutes namaste ma'am vishakanda ma'am welcome ma'am she is still on mute i think ma'am please please unmute yourself ma'am usha kanda ma'am yeah 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 ma yeah i got it now okay morning yeah i got it now yes ma'am 
Yeah, now I would like to uh, invite our Vice President, Ma'am Ushakanda, Ma'am. Thank you, Ma'am. It's a very great pleasure to us. Your presence is very great for us. Thank you, Ma'am. Yeah, just give some yeah. give some welcome address to uh, sorry inaugural address to our students, Ma'am. Students and our staff. What members. is this? You never even bothered to tell me. Uh, anyway, no matter. Thank you for saying this. Asking me to do the address, but I have no idea, no clue as to what it would Mom, be. You can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Huh. I think my message to your students is every year I've been attending in person, but this is the first time I'm doing it this way. And you have a lovely person to talk to huh? and listen to her. If that would be good. Please go ahead, listen to her. I'm also waiting for that. All the best. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Shall we start now? Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm very glad to take the opportunity to introduce our today's guest speaker. She is none other than Ms. Hanuja Aburi. She is a founder of Beyond Things Diversity Thought Leader with an experience of over 20 years in key leadership roles. Tanuja has a passion for the limitless potential that human resource has to offer her. Holding an executive management degree from Cornell University and master's degree in human resource, she has worked with various organizations including NTT Data, GE, Bank of America, to name a few. Tanuja went to fund Beyond Things as a way to provide support system to sustain careers. This mainly enables women make their working lives more sustainable and enable them to perform at their very best. Motivated by the understanding that change begins at the very start. Beyond Pink is supported by Niti Ayok and the government by using only the best strategy and technology. Beyond Pink is well on their way to add countless women to work, women to the workforce. Additionally, she is also a speaker for many national and international forums. Her expertise spans a very variety of topics, including uh, diversity in thinking, design thinking, problem solving, dynamics of relationships, decision making, leadership, and more. She has had a noticeable impact on the culture of diverse workforce and strives to implement the idea of empowering a woman at workplace a reality. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, over to Tanuja, ma'am. We all are waiting for your session. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. First, my request is people who are not speaking, if they can put themselves on mute, 
then the resound will not happen because there's a lot of echo. Yeah, that's uh, one. And uh, Venupriya, I have, it's about 11.15. I have time till 12.15. Or can I go up to 12.30? Okay, ma'am. 12.30 is also okay? Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, so the reason why I'm asking for 15 minutes more is uh, there are two things which I learned while, you know, we were doing the inaugural and I have to talk about them before we get into the presentation. Um, first of all, I heard the profile of Usha Garu. I am super impressed with the background and the kind of work she has been doing. And uh, the person who got me for this is Vijayalakshmi. You know, uh, we met through some common contacts, etc. And that contact got me in touch with Usha Garu. Now, while I'm talking about embracing possibilities, imagining possibilities, here is one possibility which got connected, which happened today in the morning, which is an amazing. I could have said, no, 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 I will just not do this session or anything. I wouldn't have ever met Usha Garu. So what I am saying is every day in our lives, there are small possibilities. There are doors, multiple doors of opportunities which knock. And we think, oh, this is not an opportunity. Let's think about it, not think about it. And we let it pass. Okay. It's possible to look at those opportunities only when you are fully present. You are fully aware of what you are doing. You're not mindless is when you kind of start seeing these possibilities. I spoke to Vijay Lakshmi Garu almost three months ago, and we have been wanting to do some work together, and it happened much later. I couldn't have visualized the future of what is possible between me and Vijay Garu, but today I am seeing the two strong connections I'm able to make only because I said there is a possibility here, okay? On that context, I want to say something very, very uh, sweet, which I felt while you were introducing the whole program. It's the 21st anniversary. Okay. It's almost the age of most of the girls who are there in this session, which means the days you were born a year before, a year later is when the foundation of this program was laid. And at that time, the people who were behind this did not imagine that the program will become so big and so successful. Yes, they couldn't have seen the future. They reimagined possibilities and said, okay, we believe in this program. We believe in this cause and see 20 years later, what is that all of you are believing and then you signed up for an MBA program. Okay, so the seed was for this was laid 20 years back where nobody knew what's going to come which means there was a possibility somebody picked it up and created it 20 years ago. And you see the fruits of it today. Why am I talking about this? I am talking about this because we in our lives are so busy and so consumed on what is happening. And while I'm talking to all of the girl, young girls, I guarantee you 80% of you, you are whoever is not visible on video, are on phones, on the side typing and doing, on the side somebody sending your WhatsApp message on what is planned for later, or we are planning what movie am I going to watch in the evening or that homework is not done. So what is happening? You're physically sitting here because you want to sit and learn, but what are you doing? You're so distracted. You are thinking about future or you're thinking about the past. We are not there fully. And if you are not there fully, what do you end up doing? You will allow opportunities to just pass. You will allow possibilities to just pass by because when the introduction about Usha Rani Madam is happening, I am busy on my phone and I'm not listening. I'll say ah, some presentation, some topic, something happening. I will miss out. Now I want to make an effort to connect with Usha Garu because I heard her profile, the kind of work she's doing. I see great synergies. So the first request you young girls is 
this there is a name for this and i want you to participate because we have everybody on mute you are not talking but i want you to type because the only medium i will know that you are learning it's making sense for you you are understanding is when you type okay so keep typing keep interacting with me i'll pick up questions i'll pick up ideas whatever are coming this is called something there is a name for this device you know what it is anybody who can type somebody will say it's a phone any name smartphone yes what else smartphone yeah i want five more answers what is this device called there is a very nice name for this device gadget okay distractor very good you are getting there distraction it's called monkey the device is called a monkey device you give a toy to a monkey a monkey plays our minds are like monkeys we love to play with a toy monkey device absolutely shrinashi so what we end up doing is i am either talking to people who don't matter to me i'm spending time on social media i'm thinking about the future i'm thinking about 3 months later i'm thinking about what's going to cook etc or i'm thinking about oh yesterday night i fought with this fellow this happened oh yesterday night i should have cooked this or i should have gone here i did not do so we swing between future and past future and past if you want to learn today the two request humbly i have is being fully present now with your mind body soul it is not going to be learning it will be just passing by instance unless you focus and say this one hour is going to be changing the way i approach my life it is possible only i look for embracing possibilities so that's the first promise you are not touching your phone take a minute to put your phone aside in the next room do whatever it takes just come back and be fully focused that's one request the second request is unless you type i can't see you i can't see your body language and i absolutely loved when usha garu said i am not used to this online medium i am used to physical connection and what did she do she created a possibility and she said i am going to embrace new possibility of doing something online today so this is her learning for the day where she is saying i will use a phone or a gadget to connect with people similarly there are lot of moments which come in our lives they will pass by if you are not fully present you are not mindful you are not distracted by this monkey and fourth is if you don't participate unless you tell me what's going in your in your head i can't read your mind especially in a model when i can't see you so the promise which i want from all all of your side is to type talk to me tell me what's going on in your head and we will have a dialogue here if you are with me if you are agreeing to this say yes type here yes anjali says yes gayatri says yes i see kalyani okay banushri shiva akila reddy lovely all right so girls are fully present mind fully present monkeys are gone we are all there are you ready okay fantastic let me just do the screen share now uh, uh window cancel just a one second okay is the screen visible clearly somebody just unmute yes. and say yes it's all yes yes this is visible okay. all right so my first question to all of you you know because there is a college program because we are supposed to be here because you know there is a expectation that i should be here i am here versus 
is there something that specifically that we are here to do today why are you here each one of us will have a reason to be here any reason specifically anybody who wants to speak or anybody who wants to just write down that okay i want to embrace possibilities i want to learn more i want to do something uh, i believe all of us struggle with this we are somebody says yes i want to learn all of us think that we are good but we want to become fantastic we are in the space saying yes i understand something which are happening in my life i could be average but i want to become great anybody in the class who says no i don't want to be fantastic i don't want to be great i want to be just good and average this is not a program for you you don't waste your time you are already good you are already average life is going on everything is fantastic everything is good with whatever you are doing but if you want to push if you want to go forward if you want to say i have the potential i have everything but i am not getting there what i want to do i want to be fantastic in whatever i do if people who want to be fantastic who want to be great type in there saying i want to be fantastic i want to be great keep typing anybody who doesn't want to i think we will excuse you because you don't have any expectations from your life you just want to be average which is a choice you are making absolutely okay yes all of us strive to be fantastic we want to be super we want to be nice and all of us have big dreams for ourselves yes we are 20 plus years everybody has certain dreams we want to be very good in what we are doing we want to be fantastic and we have big dreams now what i want you to do is i'm putting up few pictures out here think and imagine your dream what do you want okay it could be by the time i turn 30 i want to have a very nice cool car or i want to go for a family vacation or i want x amount of money in bank account or i want to buy a house and by the time i turn 50 i want to have a house on the beach side or on a hilltop i want to go for a cruise i want to have take my family for a vacation i want to have a great career i want to be at a director level i want to become a ceo do we all not have these dreams so i want you to write down 10 years from now what is your one or two dreams that you have if you are comfortable sharing you can just type in here and talk about which are your dreams it could be a great car great fancy vacation with my partner it could be taking my family for a vacation or i should have bought a big nice house by the time i turn 30 or a 40 or a 50 write down in your notebook or a pen and a paper or imagine it in your head close your eyes visualize what do you want it could be one two three any number just i want you to start imagining your life 10 years from now 15 years from now and 30 years from now yeah so vilas says i want a good career yes um nayonika says i want a world tour yes that's that's fantastic uh thing to do it's fantastic anybody else who wants to share somebody wants a good career anjali says yes me too i want a good career everybody is striving for good career and career good career could mean a lot of money it could mean a lot of power position visibility recognition and money can give you the power to go buy and fulfill the dreams that you have so it could be one from the other which is absolutely okay yeah so uh, jyoti says i want to travel more which is fantastic now we all want something from our lives there are certain expectations that we have that by the time i turn 30 i want this by the time i turn 50 i have this dream now what is stopping us from achieving these dreams 
there are dreams we know that we want to achieve i want a car like this by the way i want that house that's my dream house i am not able to achieve that dream i will never be able to achieve one of this i might do travel to one city two cities i might go to paris the picture shows here i might go to cruise but my my expectation or my plan is to go do a world tour you know what it is never possible i want that blue sexy car you think it's possible may not be possible so what do i do i kind of start thinking that it may not be possible to buy that car i end up buying a maruti 800 or i end up buying a balino and then what i do instead of seeing a movie in 70 mm cinema theater i will watch a movie of my life on a small laptop screen or i will watch a movie on a phone so what am i doing i am trimming my dreams according to my possibility or my pocket instead the other way round which i'm saying is i want to achieve this why is it that i cannot achieve what is stopping me to achieve what i want to do you get my point what i'm saying i can already visualize that i will not be able to get that car so what i end up doing i don't dream about that car i edit my dream i cut chop my dream and then i say jo ho sakta hai wo kar lete everybody understands hindi here everybody understands telugu no no okay how many know on telugu i will speak in uh, spanish how about that okay so uh, instead of me trying to fulfill that dream instead of me trying to go on a world tour or get that car i will end up making a word there is a word for it what do we do the word is called adjustment dream ko thoda edit kar lo thoda adjust kar lo sab theek ho jayega compromise that's the right word gayatri i compromise and i adjust and i start seeing movie in a smaller screen and say mere liye itna hai meri to aukat hi nahi hai there is no way i will be able to go for a world tour there is no way i can become a ceo to ceo nahi hai to senior manager ban jayega manager ban jayega usse main chala lunga yes so before i can even imagine i i have actually put a tax on my dreams also i put a edit on my dream and i am actually don't want to see a big film full size i want chota version jo hai usi ko maine dream bana diya so if you think like that where do you see there are possibilities do you see possibilities at all you if you close your eyes you imagine that world tour or you want to go somewhere whereas you are living a life of saying okay i can't go to world tour main yahan bagal mein ek chhota sa vacation karke aa jati hu that is my dream i will fulfill that and we live a life of unfulfilled thing and i don't want to even share that i want to go on a world tour or i want to go to paris because it is not going to get fulfilled if i talk about it with people people will laugh at me i kill that dream i feel ashamed to talk even saying that i don't i am not able to afford to go to paris for a vacation so what are we doing we live a life of adjustment and compromise and we live thinking we are born to be living average and the whole life we spend not being fantastic not being great but being average and then we curse the whole world this is where the trap starts what we say i am not able to break there is something is happening i my contribution is not recognized mere ghar mein to mere ko koi sochta hi nahi ki mere mein capability hai kuch to bhi kar lo kaise bhi kar lo i start looking for reasons it is like a trap you see it is basically i have a big very large dream 
but i have edited it made it small i made a compromise in my head and then i say it's all good outside everything everything looks good because nobody knows that my inside dream because i'm too scared to share about that dream because people will laugh and then when i reach a senior manager i am very happy i reach a manager position my aspiration is to be ceo but i will compromise and everybody around me is happy because nobody knows that i wanted to be a ceo everybody says oh she started with something now she is a senior manager she is driving a berlino car but the gap only you know and this is where you feel stuck or trapped i will take a pause i would want you to understand where is the gap what are we doing to ourselves we are scared to dream big बिकॉज हमको पता है कि वो फुलफिल नहीं होगा इसलिए ड्रीम भी नहीं करेंगे ड्रीम करने के पैसे नहीं लगते हैं ड्रीम करने के लिए टैक्स नहीं लगता है अब इमेजिन ही नहीं करोगे तो आगे काम कैसे होगा एंड देन द नेक्स्ट ट्रैप स्टार्ट मेरा ड्रीम फुलफिल क्यों नहीं हो सकता ऑल ऑफ अस हैव इनफ रीजन प्लीज पिक अप योर रीजन एंड टेल मी any one of the reason which is not letting you fulfill your dream you will have one two or more reasons absolutely okay write down in your book and saying i want to achieve you know 90% in my class i want to achieve that big job i want to go for a world tour but i cannot do it because my parents will not allow me i cannot do it because i don't have enough money i cannot do it because i don't have family support i can't leave hyderabad and go work somewhere else where is my career where is where is the world tour or i cannot do it because i'm not confident enough how will i survive world tour by myself i cannot do it because nobody will give me a job because i'm not educated enough you will have your own reason so i want you to go step by step first step is to imagine the big two dreams that you have big three dreams that you have if you have written that the next you are writing is you are not able to do it because one or two reasons you are going to write down if you are comfortable just type in here i cannot achieve my dream because of so and so reason i am not educated enough i don't come from that family background where women can go and travel world tour or women can go stay in delhi by themselves or my parents are not educated i did not get so much educated myself or nobody is supporting we don't have money in the family how am i going to basically go survive whatever money we have we are managing it could be any reason it could be any of these reasons which i have mentioned here or if you have reasons beyond this anybody who is comfortable writing down here please write down your reason that i cannot achieve that 70 mm dream because of reasons which are 1 2 3 anybody who wants to write or if you are okay write down in your book okay so what we have done is we have dreamt what we want to do 10 years from now 15 years from now 20 years from now and then we are saying the second one kavita says don't have enough money due to personal laziness very nice uh and the second part which we are saying is i am identifying the reasons why i do not get it shreyanshi says my habits yeah so first is the dream and then i will adjust the dream and saying because of x y z reason i cannot get it zinia says courage anjali says it's true ma'am and it's too much of risk i don't want to take risk yes so we are compromising and we are saying jo mil raha hai usme adjust ho jao zindagi chal rahi hai theek thak hai chalne do do you see a trap do you see a problem with what is happening with all of us from the dream part to where we are now yes now you have all got reasons the first thing which you i want you to see is we are 65 people on this call and all 65 of us are living a imagining a 70 mm dream living a 35 mm 
cinema personally and we have found a reason and we are saying you know what is mere to bacche chote hain i cannot travel or um, nobody will allow whatever the reason we have thought through but the point which you have to see is all 65 of us have found a reason a reason like that not to fulfill at all so we are all on the same boat and we all totally understand each other a girl will come to the other one and say oh my family is very conservative they will not allow me to go for a world tour so the other girl has her own reason she will quickly understand and we are in the same boat we are comfortable with those reasoning there is a word for that reasoning do you know the word hindi mein usko bolte hain bahane suna hai bahana इंग्लिश में उसको एक्सक्यूज बोलते हैं क्योंकि जिंदगी चल रही है चलते रहने दो किसी को नहीं पता मेरे दिमाग में क्या चल रहा है किसी को नहीं पता कि मुझे वो ड्रीम हाउस चाहिए सबको पता है कि मेरे को छोटा सा कार हो गया तो दैट इज गुड इनफ वी आर फुल ऑल सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी टू नाउ आर फुल ऑफ एक्सक्यूजेस एंड वी कन्विंस आर सेल्स इन से इट इज ओके टू लिव अ मीडियोकर लाइफ because nobody has any expectations from me guess what i do not have expectations from myself i am totally okay to be a manager as against a ceo yeah and i will give you reasons like that if you want why i am not a ceo and all of you will say ha ha bichari ye to ban nahi payi iske sath aise hi hua kyun because all of you are in the same boat all of us understand each other's tendency so what have we done to ourselves we are all in the same rat race where we are saying chalte ja chalte ja chalte ja we don't want to break our thinking second point all of us have challenge all 63 of us if you ask everybody will say i have a challenge because i have don't have money i don't have a family background i have this i have that which means none of us are free nobody on this call can say no no i am able to achieve whatever dreams i want everything is great which means my challenge could be different from your challenge but there is a challenge with e what each one of us are dealing with how we deal with it is what we will learn in the future but you need to understand that none of us are free and we have already found excuses reasons bahana for putting it under the carpet and say chalte rehne do but in the beginning what did we promise ourselves no 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 i don't want to be average no 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 i don't want to be good i want to be fantastic fantastic hona hai lekin mere paas bahut sare excuses hain jiske karan main fantastic nahi ho sakti yes and the third point is very beautifully what we do is we look for reasons which are beyond my control parents ke upar dal do paise ke upar dal do education ke upar dal do bahar ka environment pe dal do conservative society society pe dal do i will give you 20 reasons which are external 20 reasons which i will blame outside mere sath sab kuch theek hai i am to superstar if i had this 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 in my life i would be like going for a world tour but life is not beautiful it is full of many challenges as we said everybody has challenge nobody is free from it my failures and circumstances are caused by other people it has nothing to do with me i am to doing everything i am born in a wrong family my parents don't support me i don't have money i don't have education i had don't have this i be reason hai i start writing reasons you will have 20 reasons all the reasons we put is external we don't want to say because i don't want to take charge of my life i don't want to see a movie which is big size monik nayanika says ma'am if we were happy little things and not so happy after reaching what i want to achieve will there be a point okay we will talk about this nayanika it is not about achieving or not achieving 
it is all about allowing your mind to imagine possibilities we are not talking about achieving if i achieve this will we be happy happiness has nothing to do with achievement or non achievement we are talking about do i even allow myself when i sleep i want to imagine big i don't want to i am not i want to go for a date with shahrukh khan i will not imagine kyu wo to ho hi nahi sakta kyu nahi ho sakta i have 20 reasons and then what i say acha rehne do wo ho nahi sakta to kya karu wo kisi se jo bhi milta hai samne wala ladka usse shaadi kar dungi main because i can't get shahrukh khan right so what we are talking about is just allow your mind to be open allow your mind to think of possibilities can we do it or not do it will come later but we cut down our dream because koi soch sun lega koi samajh lega to fir ganda lagega fir sharam aayegi ki ye wo to achieve nahi kiya hai then what do we do usko soch dimag ko us taraf jaane bhi nahi dete i don't want to allow my mind to be freely imagining things dar lagta hai hum logo ko sochne mein right so now you go back in the sheet where you have written what is my excuse we have written it earlier i am not able to achieve my dream we have written it here i am not educated my family is not supporting i don't have money i don't have all of these if you see are outside factors all of these are outside factors and you will ask me how and i will tell you how because we are saying everything that i do is to do with the external world it has nothing to do with me yeah main to sab kuch theek hai agar main ambani ke ghar mein paida hoti to main bhi to kuch aur ban chuki hoti because i am born in a wrong house i don't have control over my life my parents decide my teachers decide the society decides the world around decides everything i am giving control to the world to tell me how i should be to tell me how i should be uh, somebody has to put themselves on mute please uh, somebody has to put themselves on mute please hello okay so, no i think there is a resound no i think there is a resound hello Okay. There is an echo. Can I request everybody to put yourself on mute? Okay. Okay. So, what is happening is instead of what is hello. Yes. So. we are allowing others to take charge of my dream my life everything that i do and then i say i am not able to fulfill i my life is going to be average do you believe you have the control with yourself or somebody else is designing your life it could be parents it could be partners it could be uh, siblings later on you will say husband later on you will say children later on you will say bosses mera to koi control hi nahi hai meri life pe because i am born in a wrong society because i am born in a poor family because of 20 other reasons and all of these reasons are external do you understand where i'm coming from are you able to see the trap that we we'll run for ourselves If yes, type in yes. Yeah. Now, the other factor you need to see is you are all twenty, twenty-two year old. You have at least sixty years of your life in the future. And what are you doing? you are actually cut down your dream even before you have started your life and what are you saying because of so and so reason i have got a reason i have got an excuse i have got a bahana and the rest 60 years of my life i am going to live on the crutches of that reason because my parents had no money 
they didn't send me to a great school or college that is why next 60 years of my life are going to be average i will continue to be in that trap so what am i doing ratio between 20 and 60 okay 60 years ahead of you you are already defined how you are going to live i will live normal bichara life i will not live the big life because of the first 20 years of what has happened with me so i am attributing my future to my past but how many of you believe that i can change what i want to change today onwards for the next 40 years which is in my hand at 6 60 years i'm saying your 20 average expectancy of life is 80 years so which means you have 60 years ahead of you how many of you believe i have not gotten great education but guess what today if i change it today i can change that and the next 60 years of my life need not be what is what bad has happened in the past which is in the last 20 years if you believe it you if you can change it what has happened in the past my past failure is not a significance mark for my future success i failed in class 12th and my parents kept on saying tumse na ho payega you are bekar you are not educated you are not smart you are this you are that that is what every day i have heard from my parents that i am average i am average i am average i start believing i am average but what has happened is you failed in the in the 12th class 5 years ago but that has not nothing to do with the next 60 years of your life you can fix it starting today you are not average it's just that i i want to live in a crutch mujhe pe bahana mil gaya main pehle fail hui thi mere ko bahana mil gaya hai next 60 years us bahane mein main ko jee lunga and i'll sit down and talk to you you will start crying and say you know what nobody supported me nobody was with me they said this to me when i was in 12 i was a failure i lost confidence this happened that happened but because of that next 60 years i will never develop my confidence yeah so what is that we are doing with ourselves is before even trying we basically start i start defining our future i have already printed my future and kept it but when i ask you to see that template which was the dream template where i'm saying i want this car i want wo man hi man mein chahiye but uske paas nahi jana hai wo bahut daravni cheez hai usse baat karungi to mushkil ho jayega so here is what i want you to do i want you to write down or make a picture of what you want that 70 mm picture and then write down what are your excuses and then go back and say is it a internal excuse or is it a external excuse if it is internal we will talk about it if it is external you know if you have a locus of control nobody can make you feel miserable less confident if you choose unless you choose that you want to be less confident and the last point on that is you are defining your future starting today how i want to embrace possibilities what i want to do with my life for the next 60 years is absolutely in your hand only when you say the locus of control is with me or not anybody else not your parents not your sister not your sibling not your teachers not your boss if you believe yes i want to do that we will talk about something on your belief system what happens is we for the first 20 years are given this conditioning okay about our self confidence about who we are as people i'm going to introduce very fun two words here for you okay it is how you nurture your dreams how you see your life my old baggage my old belief systems could be positive or negative when i am nurturing the positives when i got 
positives in my life it is like a cabbage cabbage is what it grows it's beautiful it's a good vegetable everything is positive and then there is something called baggage all of us have baggages can you identify your baggage what is your one baggage which is not allowing you to move forward you are okay to write down here or you can write down in your notebook what is your bahana what is your baggage what is stopping you from going forward anjali said very nicely which she saying is past my past stops me i haven't achieved something very big which is stopping me from going forward but you can either make it a cabbage or you can make it a cabbage baggage and the third word is called garbage yes now think of garbage what are we doing we are basically carrying a lot of nonsense in our head which is just not needed if you can filter out structure it and say this is out of my control this is internal this is external this is what i want to achieve these are the things which are stopping me your ability to achieve move forward is much higher i want you to take a minute and think of what are the excuses that you put for yourself now we are not talking external we are talking about internal things which are stopping me stopping me from going forward shriyanshi wrote earlier that there is nothing stopping from outside my parents are very supportive i've got decent education i've got good family i've got everything which is going fine i've got i'm good i'm in a good space but still we cannot achieve what we want to achieve can you identify two or three things which are stopping you from going forward yes write down in your book and see how you run a pattern in your life i'll give you a very simple example when i was your age my mom would come to my room and ask me to clean the room every time she will say kamra ganda kamra ganda clean karo and what i would do is because i don't want to do it i will start shouting yelling fighting or i will say are school ka bahut kaam hai college ka bahut kaam hai i am not able to do it i start showing frustration i will show anger i will show temperament everything and four times when i do it my mom will understand and what she will say isko kabhi bhi kamra saaf karne bolo ye gussa ho jata so what did i do i put a shield then she will say iske paas mat jao isko mat bolo isko gussa aa jata hai actually wo gussa nahi the manifestation was i'm too lazy to clean my room what do i do yeah i don't want to confront it and somebody has unmuted themselves please mute yourself please sana please mute yourself sana naz so what do i do i don't want to deal with my mother's tantrums what i end up doing is i will put a facade i will put a anger as a barrier so when she comes to my room she starts saying na 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 i will go on and then she's gone and then i teach her through four times five times that if you come near me i will get upset i will get angry i will not clean my room or study it could be any bahana that i'm thinking of so my shield was anger right so all of us have these reasons why you are not scoring 90% marks you will start saying oh nobody in my family is educated that is a external factor the internal factor i'm too lazy to work hard or i am distracted i do i am spending time on social media or i have failed in the past i am thinking if i put an effort wo to kuch hoga nahi in 12th i failed now i will fail again so i don't even want to make an effort immediately if somebody says why you not scored 90% i will say well you know what from 12th onwards i never scored very well fat se mere paas bahana ek list nikal ke aata hai depending on wo pocket mein leke ghumte hum log bahana उस टाइम पर कौन सा बहाना चाहिए जो कि सूट करता है सामने वाले को हम बता देते 
एंड सिंस ऑल ऑफ अस आर इन द सेम बोट विच आई सेड सामने वाला भी वो बहाना फटाफट समझ जाता है दोनों बात कर लेते हैं बोलते हाँ हाँ बिल्कुल सही है मेरे साथ भी ऐसा हुआ था मैं भी कॉन्फिडेंट नहीं हूं हम दोनों नहीं कॉन्फिडेंट है लेट्स गो एवरेज लाइफ okay because i get comfort from the other person who also understands me who is not pushing me who is not asking me questions i will continue to be with that friend who is not asking me too many questions because these are difficult questions to answer so can you see any two bahanas which you make any two excuses which you make and you run a racket you run a pattern on them and you only will know like for getting up in the morning everybody puts an alarm and not able to get up why i have plenty excuses raat ko late soya bahut stress ho gaya teen baar try kiya alarm baja nahi da 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 i am too lazy to push myself and do something you can put any bahana and mom will wake you up and say you're not coming then what you will do you will tell her reasons and say or oh, night teacher is given so much work i'm studying this that da 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 so then four times she will say and fifth time she will say this girl is not going to get up ever again so what is actually internal i end up pushing making it external so that that excuse is viable from everybody you see so we actually know the reason but we don't want to confront them i want to say something are your excuses more important than your dreams agar mere ko 15 kg late weight put up lose karna hai my excuses i can give you 20 excuses but then i'm saying i have a dream and then i'm saying i want to be fantastic if you want to be fantastic it's not going to happen when you're sleeping if i want a great body if i want a great car i have to work towards it it is not going to happen by itself agar itna aasan hota to saro ke paas badi badi car hoti it needs effort and the effort is unless when you get out of your comfort zone stop giving excuses to yourself not to the world to yourself and say look i want to be excellent that is what we agreed in the beginning we said we don't want to be average and i asked you if you want to be average don't stay in the class this is not a class for you we are saying we want to be fantastic i have a dream i want to achieve it i thought it is external factors but guess what i have been living with a baggage now i want to change it if you want to change it you need to get out of that comfort zone i need to move away from the story which i have been telling myself it's not a story to the world it's a story to myself i want to lose 15 kilos but i don't want to exercise guess what it's not going to happen you need to work out only then results happen stop making excuses take charge of your life and say i want to dream big i want to talk about my big dreams it is possible only when i work towards it and the life and the journey for dreaming big is not going to happen by yourself and i'm going to give one secret which you need to think about to tap your inner potential are you interested to know the secret you want to learn the secret there is a door we are going to knock on the door we are going to go behind the door and see what is sitting behind that door if you are ready with me i will open that door for you yes ready great now what you need to do is you need to close your eyes because the door opens and the magic will happen there there are many women who went through this journey we have recorded their learnings their um stories and we have put it while i open the door you will be able to see it for that you need to experience it so for you to experience it can you close your eyes and be truthful don't open your eyes you will miss out the experience are you ready yes shall i okay
Did you hear it? Did you recognize what was the sound? B sound, yes. What else? It was the mosquito sound. All of you did hear that sound? Zzz. Do you recognize that sound? You know what is that sound? This is the OMG sound which we have in our head playing all the time. This is what is going on inside our head like a mosquito. It's a very irritating sound which is like whatever I want to achieve on the outside I look very calm on the outside I look composed I'm doing a class I'm doing everything but inside what is happening there is a background while you're sitting in the class right now there is a happening and the sound could be aapko nahi pata main kis family background se aati hu aapko kya pata main kitni mushkilon se guzri hu aapko kya pata ki mere ghar mein kya halat hai i don't know but you have created that sound in your head you are not allowing other sounds to come inside your head you have filled your mind with this mosquito sound which is irritating and the sounds could be any of these am i smart enough am i slim enough am i fair enough am i good enough am i funny enough am i beautiful enough mere ko mere pe hi self confidence nahi hai and i expect the world to work with me and the world to lie everything in a plate and give me it's not going to happen unless we shut down the sound which is playing in our head that is the disturbance which we have created which is why you do not allow the dreams to come in dimag mein ek hi sound reh sakta hai ya to dream ka sound reh sakta hai ya mosquito ka sound reh sakta hai the choice is in your hand which sound you want in your head i want you to think of what mosquito is playing in your head which is not allowing you to move forward which is stopping you from doing what you want to do all of us have these sounds and my sound i will tell you i run my own company every time i'm thinking a big project the mosquito comes in my head and says and the zzz is na 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 tumse na ho payega this is too big a project for you to manage and then i start thinking thoda kam kar lete hain thoda kam kar lete hain then i just i cut down my dream and i don't achieve which means i am allowing that mosquito to overpower my dream stop allowing that mosquito to play in your head and start thinking that you can achieve what you want to achieve and these sounds which play are the inner voices or the people from outside it could be about you don't don't believe in how you uh, how will others if you don't believe in yourself and who has a control in your mind of your mind you are you or somebody else i choose the mosquito to play or not play the control of how i want to live my life is with me and nobody else so if you want to embrace possibilities if you want to create new possibilities the next 60 years of your life you need to quieten and kill that mosquito in your head and say i am good enough what has happened has happened in the past but i will not allow this to impact my future and i have made enough excuses in my life now no more excuses i will take charge of my life i will identify the excuses i will push myself out of the comfort zone and i will take charge and make that happen and it happens only in a long term transformation today i imagine i'm saying i want a great model type body i want to work on it but guess what it will take 2 years for me to transform tomorrow i will not lose 10 kilos i am starting today but the results will take 2 5 10 15 20 years 
and then what happens suddenly i will put on little weight and i say no 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 i lost it it's not going to happen da 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 i go back to the trap of an excuse again i'm giving you example here all of you will know these big star beyonce one performance for 2 hours for that she has rehearsed for 8 months which means the delivery of that program was she wanted it to be so 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 good she worked so long to do just that one thing now you have exams exams are like that 2 hour performance which you have to do how much of preparation do you do you will have excuse you say nahi nahi last time nahi aaya tha kuch nahi ho sakta teacher aisa hai nahi ho sakta i will have other reasons but if you want something don't expect tomorrow the results will happen things don't happen overnight it's a long drawn process you need to have the 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 patience and earlier there was a question which was about happiness happiness is not a destination kal mere paas car hogi to main khush ho jaungi kal mere paas career hoga to khush ho jaungi no it's a journey every day while i'm achieving that goal can be more beautiful than the goal itself i getting a great job getting a car great car getting a holiday the work that you do to reach that itself should be fulfilling you should be happy doing what you're doing you want to be great and you are able to afford to go for that vacation it is possible only when you enjoy the journey happiness is not at the end of the program happiness is not at the end of getting to that happiness is every day and you need to start today to work you see the end of the journey here is possible only when you take the first step here so take that first step get out of your comfort zone and start doing what you should be doing I want you to unmute yourself and say this loudly with me because the power of visualization power of imagining what you want to achieve is is only when you say it loud to yourself so unmute yourself and say this along with me it it's a reaffirmation for yourself can we do that together yes ma'am we want big screen ma'am you want big But, screen yeah, yeah. You, have to, you have to present again your presentation stop now one second Which present one? slide now slide present now you have to present present now stop stop it now I just saw you disconnected. Please join. Just yeah. pin it, pin it, madam. Your slide, just pin it. You are on mute. Please unmute me. वेणु प्रिया जस्ट अनम्यूट मैडम तनुजा मैडम जस्ट अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ Hello, Jamam. Can you hear me? 
प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ इफ यू कैन हियर मी Anuja, ma'am, is just starting her system. Just give her a minute. She is joining back. she'll be back in a minute she is restarting the system another 2 minutes please she is restarting the system she has some technical issues yeah sorry for the inconvenience within 2 minutes madam will join some technical issues are there due to technical issues can you hear me Yeah, yeah, ma. Yeah, ma. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yes, ma. Okay. Now let me see. I can't see a thing.
Okay. I'm just getting to um, presentation mode. You have to give me access or something like that. Ma'am, you can you can present, ma'am. No issues. Yeah, I'm access just trying. It's not uh, okay. Give me a second. I think it's hanging when I'm opening a presentation. It's hanging up. Yeah, I think now it is. Even chat is not showing up. Just one. Okay. Chat is It's not letting me present. It's chances there, ma'am. You can, ma'am. I get, I get the all the access to you. Okay. Yeah. Is it visible now? No? No, not visible. Is it visible? No, it's not visible. Not visible. Okay, I can see the presentation myself. Yeah, ma'am. You can continue. Now? Not visible. Okay. The sharing window is changed. Up. It's hanging, the system is hanging. I don't know why. Okay, only you can continue, ma'am. Otherwise, shall I get up? Yeah, I think I will do that. And uh, others, if you can mute, shall I will you be able to present? Yes, uh, you want uh, which one you want me to present? Okay, you have. I tell you, no. So you have that video, Love You Zindagi. Yes, yes, I have. Okay, keep it ready. I will um, uh, ask you to present. Done. Okay, okay. So I have stopped presenting. Are you able to put your screen up? Now we can see. Oh God. Now we are presenting. You're present. No, it's, 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 I'm able to, no, it's just kind of rolling up and up. Nothing is moving. You're able to see? Able to see your pick only, not the screen. Able to see Can you see the presentation? No, we can't see the presentation. Okay. It's not letting me stop also. Can you keep I okay? I'm stopping presentation. Can you keep the video? Just a minute, yes. Yes. Can't make your present. You are ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay. All right. So, uh, we can see your picture. Okay. I don't know what that means. Shall I? So, uh, there is a lot of break in what we were. Shall I start the song? Okay. Shalaja, are you? No, no, don't. Yeah. It's not a song, it's a video, Shalaja. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, 
Okay. So I want to summarize whatever we were talking about, and I want you to take a sense from where we started. We are saying, I have big dreams. I want to be excellent. I want to be out there. But there are factors which are stopping me. And the factors we believe are external because it's very easy to put all the factors onto the world because I don't want to take responsibility for my life. But if I want to achieve something, it is only you who is responsible for your life. And what has happened has happened in the past. That cannot define how your next 60 years are going to be. If you want to change that, you need to take charge of your life. Start looking at the excuses which are not letting you go. So the first step is to identify the internal excuses. Don't tell me the external excuses. All of us have external excuses. There are some people who achieve in spite of difficult excuses. People like Abdul Kalam, people like A.R. Rahman are coming from very poor family, have nothing. But how is it that they achieve and I am not able to achieve? So we are not talking about excuses. We are saying internal excuses, which are my barriers, which is like a mosquito in my head, which continues to play every time I want to achieve something. I don't want to take risk. I don't want to take challenges. I don't want to push myself. I don't want to work, but I want to be excellent. These two things are not possible. If I want to be excellent, I need to get out of my comfort zone and try. Does that make sense? I need to take charge of my life. I am responsible for how I want to react to the world. If it does, we are going to leave you with one wonderful, wonderful, beautiful video, which just summarizes the essence of what we are talking about. None of you here are kids. You know what is good, what is not good. You have to stay away from this. This is not letting you go forward, the monkey. And there are many such monkeys that we have. Social media is another monkey that we have sitting here. The number of likes that I get, I get excited about it. I define how the external world will tell me how I should be. Instead, how about changing it and saying, I am responsible for how I want to achieve something. 10 years from now, whatever you are dreaming today, promise me you are going to work towards it and make that happen. That's the promise on this 21st anniversary that we would want from each one of you because that's how you will take charge of your lives. Right? On that note, I will ask Shailaja to present a wonderful video and we will stop there. Shailaja? Yes. You're in a beautiful future. <laughs> Yes, explain. Not visible. Just. Is it visible? Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. It can't see. Is it? Can you see now? You have to do a screen share first and then play. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm doing. Can you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Anybody who wants to type on the side in the meanwhile, any thoughts, any promises that you're making, how you want to go forward, just type in. Not visible. I think that's an issue. Yes, I'm going to go to the hospital.
You can exit. I'll stop sharing. Yes, please. Um, over to you, Vam Vijayalakshmi Garu. Back to you. We will stop here, and maybe we can take a few comments. Okay, thank you. Can you put yourself on mute, please? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Very nice. Very nice. Please take over. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for your wonderful session. Uh, there is some problem with Vain Priya, so I'm Shailaja taking over. Uh, now I would like to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of management, staff, and students of AMSOI. Uh, let me at the outset thank our President Srimati N. Musharidi, ma'am, Vice President Srimati Usha Kanda, ma'am, uh, our Secretary Srimati Lalita Kameshri, ma'am, Chairman K. Rajendra, sir, Secretary Y. Sachin Aran, sir, and uh, all other dignitaries who are present, especially Ramon sir, Sitaram Bai ma'am, who are RGB members, who have uh, made their presence virtually and graced the occasion. Uh, it gives us immense pleasure. And uh, and the most important person whom I have to thank is our chief guest, Tanuja Aburi ma'am, who has given a wonderful uh, session, who has presented a wonderful session. It was very interactive, educative, and I hope our students will implement what all she has uh, told them on the foundation day, uh, day today. Uh, yes, we all need to change. As ma'am has said, life is not beautiful, especially during these COVID times. And everyone should have control on their locus and stop putting blame on external and internal factors and ch take charge of our life and allow our minds to imagine possibilities. Uh, so now, it is in their hands because ma'am has presented it so beautifully how to embrace new possibilities. So now it's in the uh, hands of everyone, whether they want to nurture positives and grow like cabbages or uh, want to nurture negatives and carry a baggage with them. So let me end with a quote by Thomas Merton, who says that what all is going on, don't bother about it. Or wh where it is going, it is not the thing that we have to bother, but what we need to recognize is the possibilities and challenges offered by the present moment and challenges offered by offered by the present moment and to embrace them with courage, faith, and hope. So once again, I thank everyone who have made the occasion a success by making their presence virtually. I hand over to Venupriya. So if anyone has any questions, you can just ask. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Shailaja, ma'am. Thank you.